Hi everybody, uh, AfroX here, and I don't usually do this, but I wanted to be the first to break this news, and I definitely hope that I am. I wanted to uh, do a video because I was at work yesterday, and while I was standing there in front of the fryer, extremely bored, I did some of my best thinking, and I finally, it, it just clicked in a second, I finally figured out what is the true secret backstory behind the Worth the Kids animation called Big Top Burger. So just for a little bit of context, Big Top Burger is an animation that started popping up on YouTube, getting a little bit popular recently, made by the channel called Worth the Kids. Um, I really enjoyed it. I know a lot of other people have really enjoyed it, but it's pretty much the story of uh, a food truck called Big Top Burger, whose motto is Hot Tires, Hot Burgers. And the boss, it is run by a guy named Steve. And uh, the employees are kind of just uh, three regular people. Tim is kind of, uh, probably a guy in his mid twenties. Uh, Billy is kind of an emo girl. Um, and, uh, Penny is the ever optimistic, uh, sunshine, um, kind of seeming like a protagonist kind of person. So anyways, uh, the whole story is pretty much about them going around and, um, trying to sell burgers, and then Steve usually does something totally unexpected and insane and weird, which is what I enjoy. I actually like Steve the most out of all of them. Um, but I have figured out, and I'm going to reveal to you right now, the secret story behind Big Top Burger. So, here we go. So, looking over the, the whole story, um, I found some consistencies, uh, one of which being the weirdness of Steve's behavior, um, and I will touch on that a little bit later. So, in the episode of Big Top Burger called Kid, um, we open up on Penny coming in to uh, Steve's office, the uh, cab of the uh, Big Top Burger um, food truck, and she is surprised that Steve is so big. And he, uh, after responding with asking her not to call the fire department and her assuring him that she wouldn't, he says, uh, between you and me, Peggy, he uh, either accidentally or purposely calls her Peggy. Um, he says that he smoked a jewel and it did unthinkable things to his mind and body. Um, after this point, he, uh, has a small flashback of him being in the, uh, on Broadway in the show Cats. Now, this is an important part. Because, uh, in the show Cats, there is a, uh, one of the main cats, and one of the best parts in, that you can ever get in Broadway is Old Deuteronomy in the show Cats. Now, this is very important, because in the, uh, end credit song that's called Up, um, which where the kids actually put the lyrics to, um, there is a part in it where in the second verse it says, I'm old dude, now he's old dude, I've lost the part. I think that the song Up is uh, all about being the show cat. So my big theory, uh, my big break out of all of this is that the backstory of Big Top Burger is that Steve 
used to be on Broadway. Um, uh, he was going to play Old Deuteronomy in the uh, version of Cats, and um, something happened. Uh, in the second verse, it says, Take my lunch, lose my lunch, it's a shaky start. I'm old dude, now he's old dude, I've lost the part. So my theory is that um, Steve was going to be old Deuteronomy in a Broadway production of Cats, and for some reason he lost the part, and destitute, he still wanted to put on a show of some sort. So what he did was he uh, bought a food truck, uh, with perhaps his remaining money from the show and put together a uh, burger chain based on clowns so he could still put on a show. Um, although he's still very sad about it. Um, and his insane weird behavior just is who he is. Theater people are weird, some of the weirdest people in the world. And Something's up with that Steve guy. He's got a weird voice. He just does what he naturally would do in a theater production. And I think that's why he's so excited when he sees the um, the uh, old man who's asking for a burger. And uh, he sees the customer as the audience. And um, so uh, that that's why he's very excited when one shows up. Um, but yeah... All his weird quirks are just because he was in theater, and also because I think he's kind of sad and mentally broken. Um, but yeah, I love the show. It's a great show, and I definitely think Worth the Kids should keep it up, keep the series going, because this is something good. And um, if my theory is right, Worth the Kids, I'd just like to know. And um, if it is correct, keep going with the theme. But yeah, uh, anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Keep YouTubing, YouTubers. Don't fight the fro. And always remember to stay. Steve.